makes a master retreat complete? How about a balcony? Here to show us how to design the perfect place to begin or end your day, designer Karen Seeley joins us. Good morning, this is perfect. We always say the master bedroom should be that place that you can come to and truly relax. Yes. But if yes. you can make it a balcony <laughs> retreat, you're living. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, it's so important to be thinking about as the room that you walk out of, what's the function? So it would make no sense, for example, to have a dining table off the master bedroom because you're never going to go downstairs, make a meal, no. carry it up the stairs and put it, like, that's a very romantic version of your life. Yeah. And it's never going to happen. No. So what are you going to do on that, you know, master balcony? You're, you know, you're probably going to have a coffee in the morning. Maybe if you're lucky enough, you get to read a book or read your Kindle, you know, or maybe you're gonna have a glass of wine in the evening. So yeah. let's make sure it's really loungy and comfortable. Absolutely, so, you're gonna chill. That's the whole, <laughs> that's the whole point. So look this, at this. This I day mean, bed this is, is fantastic. And it's nice because you can sprawl out. I mean, on a nice night, maybe you sleep outside. Maybe. And if there's bugs, you have this amazing bug net that can fit over top of an umbrella. You can actually, if it's a round umbrella, this can fill with water. Uh -huh. so that it actually stays put on the ground if you have a little bit of wind. So that's fantastic. Oh. And if during the day there's a lot of sun, obviously it's great to have an umbrella. And I love these cantilevered style, you know, the ones that hang over? Yeah. Because obviously if you had one with a center post, how would you have it in this vignette? You'd only, only one person would get you know, the shade or you'd need two umbrellas. That's right. So it's important to think about pairing your umbrella with your set. Yes, I, I love the idea of the netting there. I mean, you, you still have to worry about the raccoons, but you keep the bugs out. <laughs> you raccoons know, will just go in there, raccoons huh? Raccoons are crazy. Yeah. I've actually seen clients, they've actually put tin foil out on oh. their furniture and they tell me it works. Oh, they don't so like that. The they don't like it because I guess foil. they get up there and it like crinkles or something and they jump off. Oh, good. So there we go, everybody. Oh, I'm going to try <laughs> put that. Put some tin foil on your, on your balcony. Beautiful. So the other thing to be thinking about is ventilation. Because imagine yeah. you had a beautiful sliding glass door and you want to have those doors open at night and let all that beautiful breeze into your space. Well, you're not going to want to have a railing that's going to block the breeze. Right. So I've brought in two railings, the white and the black. They're both available at Home Depot. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about these, these are a kit. So you don't have to spend the expensive dollars on the custom railing system. You can do it yourself, and there's lots of choices. So the white one is showing that you can actually do larger panels. Yep. So that, for example, say you're on the lake and you get a really crazy breeze off the lake, so you don't want all that wind. Well, then you could do a lot of big panels and mm. really help with that wind. But say you're in an area where you might want a little ventilation, well then in the black version, and you can see we have the smoked glass, we have six inch wide pickets with a four inch wide space. So you're still having a little bit of wind come through, mm -hmm. but you know, it's not, it's not crazy. Yes. And then of course, one of the most important things, and we're gonna see a picture, is that these glass railings allow you to have beautiful sight lines. So you're able to wow. look through, if you've got an amazing view, and you're gonna be sitting outside, you really wanna make sure that you're not blocking that great view. So really think about when you're sitting looking out yes. and what you want to block and what you don't wanna block. And on that note, maybe you have something that's not so pretty that you have to look at, or right. maybe you want a little privacy. So why not have this amazing living wall? That is so this, lovely. This is a divider. It actually has plants on both sides. Okay. And the cool thing about this is it's obviously freestanding. Um, those are cartridges. So these kind of pop in and out and you can put all your plants in there. And it has a little method for watering, a little kind of watering can and a little tab that lets you know when it needs watering. And when you water this, 10 weeks. That's how often you have to water this. Oh. Because the way the cartridges are made and the wicking system, Literally, it's foolproof, and you're not gonna have. Have you done this before? Where you've overwatered a plant in your house? I kill my plants every week. Yes, yes. I do that all the time. Yeah. I mean, I'll do. You just don't do, do, know. Do, do, do texting, watering my plant. Yes. You know? So, so this one, there's no. You're not gonna make a mistake. Okay. It doesn't need electricity. Doesn't need anything, and it even survives in low light. So this one actually came. This this example came from an office mm -hmm. where they have like fluorescent lights and not a lot of windows in the space, and it still looks phenomenal. Those are all real. All real plants. That is incredible. And because they they're obviously thriving. They're thriving, and they say that real plants actually, you know, improve our health, improve our yes. mood, help clean the air. Yeah. So this would be fantastic even in your home. Mm-hmm. Help productivity. Yes. It's just good to be around something real and and green. It's good for you. It good really is. Yeah. And then if you had an issue where you wanted a little privacy on your balcony, yeah. Then you could do a few of these in a row, which would be fantastic. It would be. Yeah. Can we talk about the chimes since that's all I can focus on? <laughs> Bing. Yes. Bing. 
So the other issue with obviously living in an urban area, yeah. whether you're in a condo or in a house, is that we have neighbors and we can hear their air conditioning units going and that kind of thing. Yes. So there's noise. Yeah. So water features are fantastic. And this one's beautiful. It's just, you, it's got a little water fountain and then as the water moves, these little chimes go around the bowl and they ding off each other, making this beautiful little, you know, symphony. It's a little hypnotizing. It is. But that's kind of, that's what you want. It's relaxing and calming. Well, this is our Zen Oasis offer our master mm -hmm. bedroom so you have this going on Love which it. is fantastic but the the other thing to be thinking about obviously it's great to have a master balcony but I have a lot of clients that are worried because they have young children they're like I don't know is this a good idea mm -hmm. what if I'm downstairs and the kids are upstairs and they go out in the deck so obviously in the olden days we just would put a lock up nice and high and hope the kids wouldn't like pull the chair over or that yeah. kind of thing which is great absolutely do that but nowadays with all these amazing alarms and this one's from Scout the alarm system can be disabled in your home mm -hmm. but you can actually do uh, what if this scenario happens what do I want to happen in my home so for example I can turn my alarm system off but I can say I don't care if the alarm's off whenever somebody opens that door to the balcony I want to immediately get a text message oh. and I want the alarm to chirp so, and the cool thing about this is just like a rubber, it's a little um, 3M glue basically in the back. You yep. stick it on. When the door opens, these separate. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Tells your cell phone. And now you know that door's been opened. Excellent. So Which, even if you don't have an alarm on in the home, yes, that's on. You can program can that on to be on. This 100% of the time. Which can Excellent. be great for the liquor cabinet at home. <laughs> <laughs> Where else can I use that alarm? Or I can put it on the fridge. <laughs> right. Don't it. I'm texting. I'm ruining my diet. That is so good. <laughs> yeah. What a great idea. Yeah. I love that. Now, at nighttime, um, it's nice to know that you can actually still light things up. You've got this great solar lighting yes. device here. So how does this work? So LED, solar light. But the cool yeah. thing about it is Bluetooth enabled. So, ah. you know, before you hop out on the deck, you can be in your bed, turn on the light, so go over the like glass this. of wine, and it yes. lights up the entire area. Beautiful. And then this light here is also a solar light. So what you could do is you could have it outside during the day. This is it's gorgeous. getting charged and if you wanted to you can even bring it inside at night. Oh yeah, so that's true. It could live either place and it's just it's beautiful. So it doesn't look like an outdoor light would look. Not at all. It's totally glam, but some people might think, "Oh, I don't want that in the backyard." But you would have that in your master bedroom retreat. Exactly. Right? You would totally exactly. use it there. Uh, thank you for all of this uh, great information on how we can have this at home. The furniture is from GP Patio. Uh, <laughs> the beautiful living divider is from Devron. The solar light and the umbrella screen uh, from TSC. So thanks for that, Karen.